Today on the channel, from the Solo Movie Star Wars Force Link Solo Unboxing. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review, and today we've got a solo movie, the rarely talked about solo movie, solo movie four-pack Force Link style. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. And I gotta give a special shout out to my old buddy Wingnut, he sent this all the way from Canada down to me as he knew I did not have this, and... You know what? I had to review it. I just had to. This is something that caught my eye a while back, and uh, I've been playing the long game. Hasn't been at the top of my list, but uh, I've been waiting for a deal, and he was nice enough to send this my way. I'm really excited about this weasel figure, and we'll get into it. But first, we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. But let's take a look at the packaging first. Very cool four-pack here. I remember seeing these all over, Targets, uh, everywhere. On clearance, uh, the for solo movie, as we all know, did not do so hot. It's probably the worst Star Wars movie out there. I don't know, give me your pick for worst. I've seen this movie three times now. I saw it once in the theater, and then two, once on DVD when it came out, and then I saw it on Disney+. Plus a couple months back when I was really bored. And uh, I don't remember anything of the movie. Every time I watch it, it like leaves my mind immediately for the most part. I remember uh, the guy that plays Visions in it, and I said, wait a minute, Visions in here? I don't remember that. Every time I say, wait a minute, he's in this? Uh, I say that every single time. Um, but I love the Chewbacca scenes. Those are probably the ones that uh, steal my heart the most in those movies. As you guys know, I love a good Wookiee. Um, but no Wookiees involved in this pack. It's a four pack of, oh, I, what, how do you call her name? Kira? Kira. Yeah, I think it was Kira. And then Han Solo. And then we got a Range Trooper, a little Army Builder action. And then, like I said, Weasel's the one I'm really anticipating. As I love big figures, you guys know that, but I also love the little figures out there. And he is a little one, so we'll get into him in a little bit here. But there's the front of the package. You got glamour shots in the side, up and down. You got the old Force Link. And I got some warnings and some stuff like that over there. And you got a Star Wars logo up top. Got the old hook there. You can hang it right on the on the wall if you want to. Star Wars. Glamour shots again. Oh, the Millennium Falcon just shooting up into space right there. Look at that thing go. Warnings on the bottom nobody cares about. And then you got the back, which poorly designed back. I like that we got a little blurb for each character, but there's just too much going on in some of this modern packaging. Uh, just too many warnings and everything. I know the legalities of everything keeps it that way, but it's just, I don't know, just annoying. Annoying, we'll call it. But let's read these real quick. Uh, Han Solo, Vandor 1. Never one to plan ahead. Han Solo goes where opportunity calls and a chance for a big score finds him riding the wilderness of Vandor 1. Which leads us to the Range Trooper. Range Stormtroopers form an Imperial backbone of stubborn defense against would-be thieves and pirates. Oh, very good. Uh, Kiara, Kiara has put her life as a powerless street urchin behind her and she managed to move up in status and reputation with a prominent criminal organization. What a plot twist that was in the movie, if you remember when she joined up with the Vision. Um, she was like a young Scarlet Witch almost in some ways. And then of course, old Weasel. I think that's how we say his name, Weasel. Infant's Nest cloud riding gang of swoop raiders have attracted warriors from scattered worlds and backgrounds like Weasel. Weasel? Weasel, a one-time gambler who now fights for a cause. Oh, I love the littlest gambler. He's like the littlest Kenny Rogers impersonator. Uh, but we all know that is Warwick Davis, home of a leprechaun. He was in the leprechaun movies. He was, of course, my boy Wicket in the original Star Wars. He was Willow, if you remember. Uh, what a great little person actor, Will uh, Warwick Davis. And I'm glad we got a figure of him. Background, yellow background there. There you go. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to put it to the side. We're going to be nice to that box. See you later to the side. We got a little plastic prison going on here. Hopefully nobody falls out. A little plastic prison. Let's see if I can get them to fall out. Oh, that's a good plastic prison. It's better than I thought. I thought they were a little loose in there. Now, these Force Link uh, figures are very, very cheaper figures, almost akin to the Power of the Force, which we all love. It's not quite the vintage collection, um, as you guys are fully aware of. But let's get these guys out of the package here. Oh, we got some tape. We got some we got some crazy tape on this one. Holy cow. Jeez. We got this thing so far back in the package, then taped on top of it just to get that blaster out. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. All right, these are these are already driving me absolutely crazy here. Every weapon is totally taped in. They don't want to escape in anyone. There we go. There we go. Come on. There's Han Solo, his patented blaster. You got to have him with his blaster. You guys know how that goes. And then this one is real annoying. Kiara, Kiara, see you later up high. We're going to start it off with the Range Trooper. Now, we did see the Range Trooper in the Vintage Collection, so I have one of those. I have not unboxed that yet. I got that on cheap clearance, I want to say from GameStop. Um, but I will put those together. Smoke and mirrors, you can do that with these Force Link, Power of the Force, Vintage Collection figures. They all can kind of go together. But this one's nice. I like the thicker, bigger build to the Snow Troopers, Range Trooper, I guess. Uh, they, they got the furriness to them. It's not furry, though. It's actually plastic. But I like stuff like this. I like these. I wish we could buy packs of Stormtroopers and different ones of this cheaper Force Link style body, Power of the Force style body, at a cheaper price point, like on a website or something. You can build massive armies of troop builders at a cheaper price. So things like this, I do really like. And, you know, it's an unnamed character. It's just a, a random soldier, but it works for what it is. I like this one a lot. And like I said, I like this, the bigger bodied version here on this Range Trooper. Articulation is just like Power of the Force. You got the legs up and down. You got the arms up and down. Uh, and the head works. So then you can move the head. But not a lot to it. But there doesn't need to be a lot to a uh, range trooper, army builder. That's what they're there for. So I like that one a whole lot. So uh, that one's A+. I'm going to try to rank these at the end. And I guarantee that's going to be right there at the top for me. Then you got Kiara. Kiara, I think I'm saying her name right. I don't even remember. Like I said, I've seen the movie three times. I couldn't even tell you her name without reading the box. I'd be sitting here. I, I do not remember her name. So she didn't really make that good of an impression on me, obviously. If I don't remember her name after watching the movie three times. But this figure is all right. I don't hate this figure. Uh, she's got kind of bell-bottom pants going on there, which is uh, always interesting. She does have a holster on the side of her pants, so you can put the weapon there if you don't want to have it in her hand. Uh, I do think the head sculpts on these are good. We sh we've we seen improvement since, and we should have, from the Power of the Force, Power of the Jedi days. Very similar type figures, but better face scans. Um, so it does look like the actress that played her. I couldn't tell you in a million years what that actress's name is. Uh, but it does look like her. She does have the articulation of the Power of the Force, except missing the waist. She just has the legs up and down, the arms up and down, and then the head. But uh, a good, you know, good version of this character. and not uh, So this is more of her high... High, uh, high society wear, I guess we'll call it, when she's up there with, uh, we're just going to keep calling it Vision. Uh, Von, gosh, what was that guy's name? Hmm. can't remember his name. Dr Drayden Voss. There we go. It took a while. I had to go. Drayden Voss was his name, the Vision. And I remember his Black Series figure, of course, playing that longest of long games. That's where the Black Series long game began. I think I got him for $5 at Target back in the day. What a time to be alive that day was. I said, finally, the long game plays off. And then the lady at Target said, can I help you? I said, just talking about the long game. And then she knew exactly what I was talking about. All right, Han Solo, moving on. Han Solo, will this fit in his hand? Why can't I get this blaster in? Blasted. I can't get this blaster in. Uh, a little bit of uh, rubbery weapons here. I mean, they're not the thickest weapons, so a little hard, but I did get it in there. We got just a little beginnings of some sticky disease on this one, which is surprising. I don't think I've encountered that in the Force Link before. He does have a holster for his weapon as well. Same articulation as the rest. Legs up and down. Uh, arms up and down. No waist. His head moves. He does have glasses on, but the glasses are stuck to his head, so you can't have him without his glasses. Glasses. He does have a big bushy coat, much like a Wookiee. This could have been, he might have shaved Chewbacca down in the Millennium Falcon and said, hey, I need to make a coat out of some of this fur. You're getting a little shaggy, Chewie. Let's cut you down. That's kind of what it looks like, but I like this jacket. I remember in the movie, it looked kind of strange. I mean, it almost looked like Solo was 70s inspired with some of the stuff Lando wore, uh, what Kiara was wearing, and then, of course, this jacket here. It just looked like uh, from another time and another place in the world is what that reminded me of. And maybe that was just me, but you can tell me in the comments if uh, you agree with that. Now we get to the uh, the brass tacks, as one may say. We got this Weasel. Weasel. I love a small figure. You guys know that. I love Ewoks. I love all little figures and little people uh, alike across the board and as they fall down. Uh, so I'm all in for this, and I believe, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, this is the only time we got this character. So there's a lot of Star Wars collectors out there that want one of every single character, of course. 
So you have to buy this pack if you're looking for one uh, weasel. I don't know if they have any more of the Enfin's Nest characters. I know they have uh, the girl, the main one, with her swoop bike and stuff. I know that was released in a few different uh, areas and versions. Uh, but I don't know if we got any characters. We definitely didn't get any more in the Black Series as far as I'm aware of. He does have his big old rocket launcher and his handgun pistol here. I'll put those on. I like this one. I think uh, this one is the one that's going to steal my heart here, guys. A smaller character, yes, but sometimes those are the ones that interest you the most, and that's where I sit with this one. So I'm putting Weasel at number one for me. I'm putting the Range Trooper at number two. Ooh, Kiara number three and Han last. Can you believe that? This is a close one at the end, but I like the way Kiara looks. I think if Han had a removable goggles, I think I would like it better. Uh, the goggles being not removable is a little, eh, it just doesn't work for me. Might as well give this one the old see you later. Don't need it anymore. We got it all down. But And Han was the only one that I cannot get to stand. Oh, look at that through the power of YouTube and my magical powers. There it is. It must be the t-shirt. See you later, Kyle Peterson t-shirt. Pick this up at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Uh, somebody's got to buy it, right? So I bought one. I said, you know, I got to see what all the fuss is about. And I picked up my own shirt, wear it around town. Everybody says, hey, is that you on that shirt? And I said, why, yes, it is. It is me. Oh, there's a knock another one down. But you guys tell me your thoughts on this. Did you pick this pack up? Do you have this pack? Put them in order. Which ones were your favorite? Which one's the least favorite? Not a lot of articulation with these. As you guys know, these are more display pieces. And uh, I can represent these. This Range Trooper, you can put him in a lot of different places. Weasel, sign me up all day. You guys know that. I've already discussed that at length. Uh, but a really cool pack. I, I like this pack. Definitely when it was on clearance, this would have been a good one to pick up uh, for you long gamers. Even maybe it was so cheap, you could have got it basically just for the range trooper to army build. And these guys were extra surprises or fodder or whatever you want to do with them. There's a lot of options there. But I like this pack personally. I think it's really cool. Especially, I'm sure you can still find this at a fairly cheap price if you search the old eBay out there. So... Tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Uh, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Get your very own See You Later t-shirt. Be the most fashionable guy or gal in your neighborhood. And special thanks to my old buddy Wingnut for sending these along. So for the Han Solo 4-pack, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.